everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Don't Starve. Today we are going to continue getting ready and preparing for winter as well as a possible Mac Tusk battle. We won't battle Mac Tusk today just because I don't believe he comes out until it's fully winter and I don't think we'll quite make it to there today. Uh, but I definitely do want to prepare for it and today we need to pick up some more lumber and the reason we need lumber is because, or timber, or wood, or whatever it's called in this game. I swear it's called, it's logs. Of course, they're called logs. It's called something different in every game. But the reason we need to collect this is because I would like to make some drying racks today. Because we have a lot of monster meat and we're definitely not going to eat all of it before it goes bad. So I definitely want to get that put into jerky as soon as possible. We also need to make a, um, a boomerang. And we need a boomerang for a couple of different reasons. Boomerangs can be handy and I do need to get over to my fire. Oh, it's still going. Light that fire up. Uh, the reason that I want to make a boomerang is because a boomerang will help us in the Mac Tusk battle, but I would also like to kill a couple of crows before they disappear for the winter, and there's one right there! I wish I had made one already. But we need some black feathers to make some sleep darts, which will again help us in the Mac Tusk battle. So let's go ahead, because there seems to be quite a bit around. Let's see here, what do we need? What would that be in? Would it be in fight, maybe? I'm trying to figure out where a boomerang would be. Here it is. So we need one board, one silk, and one charcoal, which I think we actually have already have. Yep, the charcoal and the silk. And now we just need to make some boards. So I think I'm only going to make one for right now, or should I make two? I have enough stuff to make two. I'll go ahead and make two. Just so that way I have a full one for the Mac Tusk battle. And then I also... Oh, and we will go ahead and just make one of these now. I'm not sure. And let's just put this by the fire. I'm not sure how many birds we're going to have to kill before... Can you drop that, please? Just drop it. Thank you. I'm not sure how many birds we're going to need to kill to be able to get a feather or two. Uh, let's see here. Survival. It was in fight. Here it is. I always have the hardest time remembering where things were. Okay, there we go. And where is Chester? I don't see him anywhere. We have the little thing on us. Did he die or something? Here, we'll drop it and pick it back up. I don't know where he is, actually. I would like to put the boomerangs on him and then also get the um, winter clothes and stuff. That is glamour. Where did Chester go? <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember seeing him when I got on. Interesting. Okay, so let's look at our resources. We can go ahead and drop this. We can give that to the Pig King. Um, I will keep the rocks on me because those may come in handy. We can go ahead and put the silk away. Uh, let's see here. Didn't I have room? Oh, I put a boomerang in there instead of the silk. There we go. Come on, daytime. I really want to find Chester. Uh, is there anything else that we should look for today? I don't know if there is. Oh good, there was room in there. Okay, thank you, daytime. Oh, dang it. And it looks like it's starting to get chilly. The uh, hue kind of changed a little bit. So, and of course, it started to rain. Oh, there's Chester. Were you there the whole time? Okay, I'm gonna put, uh, oh, it's over here. I'm gonna go ahead and get my winter clothing and things on me. Gonna go ahead and throw them in Chester. I don't know if I'm gonna need them today, so I'm just gonna bring them with me just in case and then um, go ahead and grab that guy. And I believe you have to hold, okay, yeah, you have to hold spacebar or else it'll come back and like hit you in the face. And <laughs> it's rather unpleasant. So we aren't taking on water because we're by the fire. But the question is, can we find flowers nearby? So that way we won't take on a bunch of water. And some of our meat in here is going bad. And we're going to get a ton more morsels today because uh, of birds and things. So let's see here. We need to find flowers real quick so I can make like a little makeshift. Oh, oh dang it. Why did you have to land right next to me? We need to find flowers though so we can make a little makeshift umbrella for today and hopefully this isn't gonna kill our uh, not our fatigue our uh what is this sanity hopefully it won't kill our sanity too bad i was hoping there was gonna be flowers over here 
but there don't seem to be any. I'm gonna leave. Oh, oh, get this on us. I'm gonna go ahead and leave these berries for now because um, during the winter, if I ever need more food, those will come in handy. And speaking of food, I do need to eat something soon. And it is just a downpour right now. I think we need six flowers. Oh god, there's so many flowers over here. Thank you, flowers. I think this will be like just enough. Okay, and attack that guy. Hold space. There we go. And we will get an umbrella. Although the umbrella won't completely help us. There we go. And survival? Is it in survival? Here we go. Uh, it won't completely keep us dry, so we're not going to be able to do too much. Oh, wait. No. Uh, I scared him away. Dang it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to... What will be the best course of action right now is the question. I think I'm going to get over here. Going to start up my fire. And I actually... Do we have... I'm not sure how many more. This isn't really helping. Um... How many more wool do we have? It's in here. We have 10 more, so we have 12. Oh no, fire. Put the f uh, rain, put the, f no. Oh. I didn't even think about that happening. Shoot. Uh, okay, get this, get this on us. Uh, where did I just put that? Did I just drop that? Where did- oh, it's gone. Oh, no, I put it in here. This is just unfortunate. Just lots of unfortunate things happening. Okay, we need to eat. Let's go ahead. We're going to use this meat. Not that meat. This meat. Because it is going bad. Go ahead and get that cooked. Through the new berries in there and the morsels. Go ahead and stand by our fire. So if our beefaloes can be sheared again, we will shear them again shortly. But we were still taking on more water. Oh, dang it. Why is there so much rain right now? And we also should get a lightning rod in. Because I completely forgot that this whole thing could happen. And it's awful and it sucks. Okay, let's see here. Um, Where would... What am I looking for? Chests? So we need chests. Ugh. Okay. And this is gonna just get rid of all the wood that we collected. Okay, let's see here. So we need to go into... Not structures, we're fine. I believe it is three per chest. So we need six of them. Go ahead and get these made up. And then I need to pick up my hammer to get rid of those. It seems like... Oh, don't fly away. Don't fly away. Equipped that... Attack. Oh, dang it. I didn't hit space in time. <laughs> We're just like a bucket of mess right now. Get that in your hand. Okay, and pick up the hammer. Get rid of these dumb things. Yeah, okay, good. It's done raining. Oh, and it actually gives us boards back. Well, that's helpful. Not really now. And I'm just gonna go ahead and sit by the fire and hold space. Oh, oh, dang it. We have not gotten a single feather yet, which really sucks. I really only need one. It only takes one, um, only takes one sleep dart to knock out Mac Tusk. So we really only need one. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Success. Okay. So we have that done. We're almost done being waterlogged. And we'll, oh, dang it. We'll just go ahead and use up this boomerang because we already have another one. We're not waterlogged anymore. Let's go ahead and pick up as much stuff as we can. We're going to end up relocating. Uh, drop- oh, dang it. Drop this. It's so difficult to capture birds. Uh, okay. So we're gonna go ahead. We'll place these down, like, over here. I don't really care about that bird. Oh, do I care? I do care about that bird. Go ahead and tack the bird. Pick that up. And he dropped a morsel. No, oh, no, 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 no. Okay. It's now nighttime. We need to keep an eye out on our fire. Okay, other structure. Getting a chest. And we're gonna try to line them up. Is that lined up? Uh, no, not really. Okay, I tell you what. I am going to clean up all my items. Get everything together. And not, like everywhere like it is right now and uh, I will be right back 
Alrighty, it is now daytime. It is not raining. Our chests are back. Everything is all good. And we actually, oops, I did not mean to pick up Glamour's flower. We are actually just got another feather. Sweet. Let's go ahead and make some food real quick. And then I don't really know what we're going to do. What else do we need to get done? And our monster meat is starting to go bad, which is not good. You know what? We can actually make some drying racks. We can still cook this monster meat. And then it'll its health will go back up a little bit. And we'll go ahead and grab these. Oh, and it broke. Ah, dang it. Stop picking up Glomer's flower, man. Okay, pick up this morsel. So we are out a boomerang, but that is okay. We ended up getting two feathers out of it, which will be good enough for our needs. And we already got a stinger. I don't remember where we got the stinger. Oh, and it's snowing. I don't remember where we got the stinger, but apparently we picked one up at some point. I'm going to go ahead and um, get the hat on. Where did the hat go? Stop putting the hat in there. We'll go ahead and put our hat on. And if I start getting cold, I will put on the breezy vest. But um, I really I really don't want to because it gets rid of my backpack. But we will see what happens. Let's go ahead and get one more thing cooked. And uh, I guess I will use a carrot. Go ahead and do that. And then what exactly do we need for our drying rack today? Would that be... That would actually probably be in food. Uh, so we need more charcoal. There are so many crows around, geez. And then we also need some rope, which is going to take a lot of our grass here. So we will take our charcoal. And then do I have a torch around? It doesn't look like I do, so let's go ahead and make one. We're going to need to burn down a couple of trees. Take that out of my hand. So we're going to need to pick up a or burn down a couple of trees. And I need to find an area that maybe has some baby ones. Because I don't really want to burn down any full trees. Maybe like over here. Uh, go ahead and equip that. And we can light that on fire. So this is how you make charcoal. And then you just chop down the little stumps that are left. Hopefully it doesn't catch two of them on... Too many of them on fire. But it's looking like it might. Nope, it stopped. Okay, good. It stopped spreading. So this will get us... Five, I believe go ahead and equip or axe so that is how you get charcoal just go ahead and chop them down and then we will go through and pick them up so we got five charcoal which we need two each and then we already had two of them so I'm aiming for three but if we can't make three I think it'll be fine uh, we really so we're good on charcoal but we need to see how we are on grass and dang, that day went by so fast. Uh, how much wood does this take? Oh good, it doesn't take wood, it takes twigs, which is very good. But we do need to make some rope now. We're fine. And this is gonna take up a lot. I really need to watch my grass. I think, ooh yeah, I wanna keep, we'll do two I guess. Because I don't want to get rid of all of my grass because that's how you make torches and things. We'll go ahead and store this in you. And let's go ahead and get some made. So I don't think we need to worry about a lightning rod anymore. Um, and this is in food. I don't think we need to worry about the lightning rod anymore. Uh, just because it's snowing now. And that shouldn't be an issue during the winter time. So we got one done. Get another one done. And honestly, I'm not really super concerned about these lining up right now. And let's go ahead and get some meat on here. And I'm not sure how long this takes. I actually really haven't used the drying racks before. So not sure how long they're going to take to dry out. But hopefully not too long because we have a lot of monster meat. But I believe if we cook it, we can still give it to spiders and they will still be friends with us. So that is the main thing. And I'm just going to go ahead and throw this on the ground here. How are we doing everywhere else right now? Let's get this situated a little bit. We really don't have any tools right now. So we do kind of need to figure that out. Um, I'll go ahead and pick this up. It's really hot, apparently. Or I guess it's not red once it's in my inventory. So I think I'm gonna just going to sit here for the night real quick. And then once the day rolls around... I think we are going to do a couple different things. I want to check out the beefalo, see if their wool is back. Or, ooh, do I want to go over there right now? 
Uh, no, I won't. I really want to see how the beefalo are doing on their wool, though, and whether or not this spider nest here is at a three tier, and if it is, then we'll kind of mess around with that and see where, if we can, like, get it repositioned closer to us or not. But during the night here, I am just going to go ahead and chop down some more trees, try to get a little bit more wood for us, and yeah, I will be right back. Alrighty, it is now daytime and I made myself some spicy chili apparently. I didn't really mean to do that, but alright. And uh, I will keep the breezy vest on me just so I can switch it out. I went ahead and emptied out my uh, backpack here just in case. I actually do want to pick these up real quick. I didn't notice these before. We are sitting at about a sack, now a sack of timber, so that is good. We have a decent amount, however, that will go by really fast, especially once we run out of the beefalo wool, which will be sometime soon, I'm guessing, which is the reason that I want to check out the beefalo today, and then maybe we can pick some more um, wool up tonight. Let's go ahead and get the shovel out of our inventory or out of our hands so we can pick this up and then oh they're mating so that would be a no on the beefalo wool uh, i don't really want to go near them i don't want to get killed so uh, right now i'm looking for grass by the way is there more grass out here there's a couple up here so i guess that will be a no then on the beefalo wool which really really sucks because if you try to shear them while they are sleeping and in their red butt mating mode then they will wake up when you shear them which sucks and is unfortunate but i'm thinking the spider nest up here should be at a tier three hopefully i'm crossing my fingers please oh you're still at a tier two you disappoint me so much why are you trying to attack me? Oh, it's because of Chester. Well, that's actually kind of good to know. So if I bring Chester along, then I can get the spiders to come out during the day, which is actually very, very helpful. I think I'm gonna need to put on this vest soon. Oh, whoops, that could have been bad. <laughs> it sucks that they are kind of chilling out around um, the main tufts of grass, which really sucks. I really, okay, thank you. I was going to say, I really hope you go back to your herd soon. And I guess we are going to go back to our camp for right now. I'm going to go ahead and eat my chili. I don't know how much. Yeah, that didn't fill me up very much at all. Let's go ahead and throw this down by the fire. Um, because once it gets cold, I think it can make you cold as well. I thought that uh, there was only the white birds came out during the winter. Uh, what am I looking for? My shovel. I thought only the white birds came out during the winter, but I guess blackbirds can come out too. But here is a track. Do I want to follow this right now? I guess let's go ahead and follow it. And if... Because once you follow it and you find the koala fent, then the koala fent will just stay there. So let's go ahead and follow these. And my... Sanity is not doing too hot right now. It didn't really go up much during the day, which is slightly concerning. Uh, which way did this go? I think it was going this way. Yep, here's the next one. I'm gonna pick up this rock too. Hopefully he's not chilling with the pigs, because that's gonna be problematic later on. I think I'm gonna go ahead and- oh. Oh yeah, this is probably from a house that we knocked down. I'm gonna go ahead and keep searching for it. Wow. I guess we just didn't pick up any of this stuff before. Maybe? Uh, I am gonna go ahead and keep looking for this guy though, because I think I need a backtrack. I think I missed it. But I'm gonna go ahead and keep looking for this koala fent real quick, and then I will be back with you. Already we are back at the base. I didn't end up finding the koala fin. I tried to follow the tracks and I don't know if maybe it went behind a bush or something or a tree, but I couldn't find the next koala fin track anywhere and then I got dark and then I was starting to freeze and I ended up having to drop my backpack over here because I was starting to take some real damage. But it looks like our jerky is done. Let's go ahead and pick it up real quick. It's actually um, soggy. Interesting. And we'll go ahead and throw a couple more on. So it looks like it takes two days or a full day, something like that. 
But we can actually give this jerky to the um, pig king and he will give us gold in return. And I continued picking up some caps and we will throw them in here. And I also got some silk from around the, um, the pig area. Was that the stack that was already in there? Yeah, it was. Uh, I picked up some more silk in that area though. It must have been just from when we were battling some pigs and some of our spiders died. And we also, of course, picked up those boards, which are over there now. And then I think I have some berries and um, cut stone, I think it's called, cut stone in the backpack, which I will pick up once it is daytime again. But I think that is going to be about it for today. Next episode, I think we will try heading over to the Mac Tusk Igloo over here, and then we will attempt to battle him we'll try we'll see if it works but since i actually since we have chester now and i now know that chester will um aggravate the spiders it'll actually be super easy we can go ahead and go over there uh the day before and then at night maybe i can go around or during the evening or something i can go around collect some spiders because of chester and then when it hits daytime and the mac test comes out then we can go ahead and just battle him with the spiders we'll also have a sleep dart with us so we can put him to sleep um there will be some ice sounds with him but hopefully the spiders will be able to distract them and we can just deal with mac tusk but we'll see how it goes. Hopefully all goes well. But that's going to be about it for today. Thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play Don't Starve. Please like and subscribe and all that stuff. And thank you. Goodbye.